Hello guys, this is my video submission for my biology performance task. So my assigned cell is an animal cell, and I'll be telling each part of the cell and its functions. So this is my cell. As you can see, it doesn't really look appealing, and it may look small to some of you. But anyways, let's start. First off, we have the nucleus. The nucleus is known to be a membrane-bound organelle, and it contains genetic material called DNA. The nucleus also contains a non-membrane-bound cell called the nucleolus. The nucleus has a very important role in the cell, as it is the one that coordinates cell activities, whereas it functions as a brain of the cell. Next, we have the cell membrane and the cytoplasm. The purpose of the cell membrane is to protect and give support for the structure of the cell. The cytoplasm as well is where all organelles are found. It contains water, salts, and proteins. Up next, we have the mitochondria. These organelles are the ones that generate most of the chemical energy and power for the cell's biochemical reactions. Chemical energy produced by the mitochondria is stored in a small molecule called the adenosine triphosphate or ATP. Next, we have our soft and rough endoplasmic reticulum. Here's a picture of how it looks. The green parts of the cell are the endoplasmic reticulum. As you can see, the other one is rough looking and the other one is smooth. The purpose of these two are for them to produce proteins for the rest of the cell to function whereas the rough one has ribosomes. Ribosomes are the small particles seen in a cell. Their function is to synthesize or are the ones that make proteins for the cell. Proteins for the cell are beneficial as proteins help repair damages of the cell or even help in contributing in chemical processes. Ribosomes are found in two ways. Ribosomes are free in the cell are found all over the cytoplasm, while ribosomes are also found in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Next, we have the lysosome. Lysosomes are the ones that break down excess and worn out cell parts. They are also capable of destroying unwanted viruses and bacteria. And now for the vacuole. A vacuole is an empty space within the cytoplasm. It is filled with fluid. Vacuoles perform some functions in the cell, such as storage, ingestion, digestion, exertion, and expulsion of excess water. And now, we have the centrosome. The centrosome is known to be composed of two barrel-shaped microtubule-based organelles. Well, mine ended up looking like a starfish. Anyways, the function of the centrosome serves as the main microtubule organizing center, or the MTOC, of the animal cell, as well as a regulator of cell cycle progression. It also helps in cell division. Lastly, our Golgi body, which is this red part. The functions of this organelle is to help process and package proteins and lipid molecules especially proteins destined to be exported from the cell.